Facing a foreclosure on her home, massive debt, and possible business trouble, this former Real Housewives of New Jersey star officially fled the Garden State for good. But is there more to the story? Here's the piping hot tea on why Jacqueline Narita skipped town for Nevada. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, you better run. In 2017, Larita put all the table flipping, weave pulling, and baptism brawls behind her when she quit the Real Housewives of New Jersey for good. And she has little more to show for it other than a ban from the North Jersey Country Club and a presumed mountain of debt. The reality star confirmed to ET that she was leaving the show because the network reportedly believed she, quote, no longer had an authentic connection with two of the season's cast members. That was in reference to Teresa Judice and her sister in law, Melissa Gorga. You're screaming at me. You're giving me eyes like you're ready to because kill. Because you're so full of right now. According to Larita, Bravo offered her a part-time role with the option of going full-time if she gelled with the girls. But she turned it down, telling the outlet, that feeling that I had to kind of try out again, it just didn't feel right. Let's agree to disagree. We're never going to be friends again. That's fine. It's easy to speculate that Larita's move from New Jersey was rooted in money problems. Her family was embroiled in a bankruptcy case for her husband's signature apparel clothing company for years. And according to Radar Online, the star owed over $425,000 in back taxes from 2013. Let's just say things haven't been easy for Larita, especially while caring for her son, Nicholas, who is autistic. But she was honest about her struggle when she returned to season seven as a full-time cast member. Nicholas once struggled with saying, I love you. And now he says it all the time. She wrote on the Bravo blog, After my husband lost his company during that rough economy, it took some time for the decrease in income to catch up to us. We were also not prepared for the cost of raising a child with special needs. Somehow during our struggle, we had managed to stick it out and keep fighting to get through it. It gets intense. It's raw. Lorita's Franklin Lakes mansion has been the subject of near-continuous foreclosure litigation since 2015, according to NewJersey.com. And if the Loritas can't sell their home, it will be taken from them. When the family started selling their belongings on Facebook, it didn't help rumors that they might actually be losing their residence. Though Chris claimed they were selling their stuff because it didn't fit the style of their new home, it does make you wonder if the pair is moving back to Lorita's hometown to cope with their financial woes. In an Instagram post, Jacqueline admitted her parents, brother, sister-in-law, nephews, and cousins all live in the Las Vegas area. So there is no doubt that the family connection made the relocation more attractive. Plus, it's cheaper to live in the Las Vegas area than the very rich Bergen County, New Jersey. While it's clear that the Loritas' lives are in transition, the couple is apparently trying to start some sort of new business endeavor. And according to NewJersey.com, Chris claims the new opportunity was what forced them to relocate. We know next to nothing about what the couple is actually doing around Vegas. In an Instagram post, Jacqueline said that Chris was moving to Nevada for her the same way she moved to New Jersey for him. But she also claimed that he planned to open an office and warehouse nearby in California with his business partners. People think you make money from a new company like overnight it happens. Whatever it is, it seems like the right move for the family. Chris wrote on Facebook, Why can't someone write something positive about a family pulling up their bootstraps and moving on to bigger and better opportunities? What we are doing is a good thing and is best for our family's future. We are looking forward to it. Larita might be leaving the drama of The Real Housewives behind, but she still has some pretty strong ties to the Garden State. What did we used to fight about anyway? Uh, everything. The star's daughter, Ashley, who's best known for pulling out Danielle Stubbs' extensions and getting into fistfights with her parents, decided to stick it out in New Jersey. Let it Stay in the positive! Ashley had her first child with then-fiancé Pete Maleo in 2016. The pair finally tied the knot two years later, and though Larita admitted she tried to convince her daughter to move out west, Ashley felt like the timing wasn't right. She posted, Ending this chapter of my life has been incredibly difficult for me, but I could not be happier for my family and their new beginnings. For now, my story is meant to continue here in New Jersey. But you bet your ass I'll be visiting. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.